we're going to talk about 5G network energy consumption and what's happening on the rooftop of Speechmark, which is Vodafone's UK central London office. So Ron, tell us a little bit about what's going on there. It's really awesome, I think. Oh, yes. I think this is a high impact collaboration. Uh, what is going on is that Vodafone and Ericsson are working together to dramatically improve the energy conservation metrics of a 5G network. And uh, specifically, uh, what their trial entailed is the use of Ericsson's antenna integrated radio uh, technology, uh, specifically uh, the A. IR3227 uh, model. And what they uh, came across is the fact that by using Ericsson's uh, air technology, that they were able to improve energy conservation across the entire network by an average of 43% on a daily basis. That's a lot. So that, yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> that is, a lot. Uh, I think that uh, constitutes a, a breakthrough. And uh, the other reason why this is important is, is that it's demonstrating that 5G is ready for prime time in terms of enabling operators to meet their sustainability goals. But also it's going to impact you know, the society-wide objectives to improve you know, energy efficiencies, to achieve uh, some ambitious aggressive uh, goals that uh, we see particularly in the UK and EU, but increasingly across the world to have uh, what could be characterized as carbon neutrality in the next uh, decade or two. So this is definitely uh, playing a contributing factor. And I think it's uh, you know uh, showing progress in that relationship. They've been working together. Uh, for example, uh, when uh, Vodafone launched its 5G service, it was in uh, collaboration uh, with Ericsson back in 2019. And this year they announced the fact that they're working with Ericsson to use Ericsson's technology in terms of their 5G uh, standalone uh, core capabilities to support uh, packet core capabilities. And I think what's also neat about this announcement is that they're all actually using drones to enable these uh, capabilities, that is the improved energy efficiency. And so the uh, the capstone, at least in the near term, uh, will be in uh, Q2 2022, uh, that uh, Vodafone will be deploying 1,500 uh, of these uh, Air 3227 models uh, throughout uh, the London network. And uh, so this is, I think, something that will gain momentum you know, these types of announcements, because it's going to be an increasingly important differentiator. I think this is really our first opportunity to talk more about the fact that when it comes to 5G, the sustainability and energy efficiency aspects are going to be increasingly critical. And this is, I think, a, a definitely a, a demonstration of that fact. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I noticed when I was looking at the the news around this that, um, you know, speaking about future proofing and sustainability, that Ericsson's new radio is more than 50% lighter in comparison in that compact design and the improved energy management features are so key because this is going to help, you know, optimize the overall site footprint and it'll make 5G rollouts and 4G upgrades faster. And, you know, those things are critical here when we're talking about, you know, speed to innovation and, and really being able to benefit from all the things that 5G and upgraded 4G has to offer. Yeah, this is a great uh, example of why competition is so good, because it's a very spirited one between Ericsson, Nokia, and Huawei. Uh, just within the last uh, year, all of them have been engaging in one-upmanship, like we have now the lightest unit, and you know, just wait a quarter, then that, that one of the uh, other ones will come out and say, now we right. have the lightest unit. And this is you know, just really making a difference across the entire mobile ecosystem, but certainly across you know, 5G builds. And uh, this, I think, uh, is going to be, uh, again, something that uh, will prove pivotal and how aggressive uh, the operators uh, deploy 5G. And you know, we've been going through a hype cycle and you know, 5G hasn't really had like a breakthrough application yet, you know, the same mm -hmm. way that you know, 4G uh, enabled, for example, the car ride uh, applications such as Uber and Lyft and so forth. However, uh, stay tuned. I think it's just definitely <laughs> something that is gonna uh, become uh, more than, okay, th we're improving performance we're improving throughput and lower latency, and we're going to have, you know, I think, some real interesting examples and use cases coming out over the next year, uh, particularly on the industrial.
industrial side. Yeah, absolutely. Say that again five times. Industrial. <laughs> Industry 4.0. <laughs> I need you to say five <laughs> times real quick. <laughs>